right guys, so I'm gonna show you what you need to get the perfect mold. First, you're gonna need a comb. I like to use this comb. I use the wide side to comb down my hair. So any type of wide tooth comb is fine. Then you're gonna need your rat tail comb so that you can part or whatever else. I just use, this is the main comb that I use to actually go through the whole molding process. Then, my favorite, my staple, the only foam that I use on my hair and my client's hair is the Nutris Wrap Guard Foam Wrap Lotion. A lot of people always ask me what I use, this is what I use. I used to use Nairobi, um, I like Nairobi, I don't knock Nairobi, however, for my hair texture and a lot of my clients' hair texture, um, Nairobi is too heavy. So I prefer to use Nutris because it is the perfect solution and I don't have to dilute it, whereas with Nairobi, I feel like I have to dilute it with, with water. And then, this is optional. Um, I don't use this all the time, only when I'm like in between relaxers and possibly my, may need a partial. Um, the Ampro um, Pro Style Gel, I just put a little bit on my back when it's really wavy and possibly the sides. But like I said, I don't use this all the time. Um, it's fine, but it kind of, it's only if I really, really need it. And last but not least, the Rapid Junior Strips. I like to use the ones in white, um, mainly because the black ones do not stretch that much for me personally. Um, I have a really big head, so it just doesn't work out, it doesn't stretch. I try to stretch, I can't tie it. It just doesn't work for me. Um, people have kind of, you know, said, oh, that works for me, blah, blah, blah. But for me personally, I'm just giving that disclaimer, I use the white because that works better. Rapid Junior is the best ones in my opinion. There are other ones that, um, that are out there but they're too soft and they rip really easy when you try to put it on as soon as it gets wet. And this is a freshly washed um, head of hair and I just recently did a relaxer. So it is, I won't say bone straight, it still has like a little wave to it because I didn't leave my relaxer in really long, um, probably maybe 10 minutes or so, but it's straight enough for me. Um, I like to leave just a little wave in it, um, mainly because I don't like my hair going straight because it doesn't, um, for me it doesn't give me what I need or whatever. Um, so first, I'm gonna comb your hair down. Comb it all forward, well, comb the front forward. And then, this is, I guess, depending on your hairstyle. So if you want a hairstyle where most of your hair is going forward, you're going to actually put most of the hair, probably starting from the back here, you're gonna go forward. So you're gonna put the part further back. Now, if you're doing a style that requires maybe spikes or something more to the center of your head, you're going to separate it higher up. So that is the difference. Like let's say if you're at home, you're like, I can't get that style that I want because you know it's just not working out. It's really depending on where you place your part. So further up, if you want more hair um, lifted up here, and then further back if you want more hair going forward. So next. After you comb it down we're gonna use our foam wrap so the I guess the biggest tip with the foam wrap is placing it close to your scalp as possible so when you put it on you're gonna put it really close to your scalp that is the trick in getting your hair to lay down the way you want it to lay down I get that question all the time why doesn't it lay down how like how the stylus get it, gets it laid, it's because we go really close to the root. So, and then also be generous. Be generous with the foam wrap. Don't be afraid 
to you know put the product on your hair especially if you need it like if you have a lot more hair than me you're probably going to leave me more product all right so now that we have all of that in you're gonna go you're gonna mold it so as you're molding make sure and use i'm left-handed so i'm using my left hand to mold and i'm using my right hand to smooth the mold out that's the biggest thing make sure that it's a smooth mold And then because this is just a simple mold tutorial, we're not going to do anything special with the sideburns. I just like to bring it down, but then I'll take like the edge of the rat tail and just kind of frame it on my face so that it's not just kind of like a blocky look, that it's kind of just kind of smooth on my face. And if this is your first time molding or you're not really used to it, take your time. Don't be afraid, don't rush. Um, don't be afraid that, oh, it's taking too long. Take your time because when you take your time, you'll get that nice smooth mold that you really want. Because the mold is the foundation for a great hairstyle. So now that you are all done, you see you have a nice smooth mold, you're going to apply your strips. So like I said, I'm using the Rapid Junior strips. I'm going to take my first strip and place it in the middle. Tie it. I like to do a little knot to it just so it'll stay. Some people just put one and then like add like some water just to seal it, but I just double knot it. And then you're gonna take your second strip and place it right under there. And then if you need a third strip, which I'll just go ahead and you know, put on just for informational purposes. You will take that third strip, and I usually do this, like let's say if I need a relaxer, and it's to that point where it's like, okay, I need this to be held down really tight, I'll apply the third strip up here. There you have it. A lot of people ask me, why do you use strips? I use strips personally because I feel like it holds the hair in place and I get the mold that I want. It's not kicking up in the back or anything like that. I know some people like to use the Velcro, just regular strip. Um, I've never used that and honestly, I don't really you know, I've seen it work for other people, but I don't think it'll work for me. I'm so used to the white strips and I just like it. So yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with this. So after um, you do all of this, I'm gonna go under the dryer for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, after about, I wanna say 15 to 20 minutes, I usually take these strips off because by then, the shell of your hair, like the outer shell is dry. So you can take it off and then you can allow the rest to dry and it won't lift or anything like that. But just make sure that I like to touch the top and to see if that's dry. And if that's dry, I can take the strips off. Um, and it just, it just makes the drying time easier and you get your around the ears to dry quicker as well. 
and I use, as you can see back here, I use a hooded dryer. Um, you can purchase this. This is the Golden Hot Hooded Dryer. I purchased this from my local beauty supply store. You can get it from Target. Um, I think Walmart sells it. And it's about maybe $40 to $50. It's a really good investment. Um, I know some people have asked me before about using a blow dryer or whatnot. I don't really like the blow dryer situation because that means that you have to sit there and physically hold it. So I feel like just investing in a good hooded dryer will work. Or I also have the soft bonnet dryer as well. That works really good. It's a little more portable and you can just tuck it away. You can take it anywhere with you. And it just really, it, it does a good job to me as well. So I'm about to go into the dryer and I will be back. All right guys, so I am back with my dry mold. Do a spin so you guys can see everything. Crispy, right? Mm. Swoop. <laughs> All right, so everything is dry. It is set. Uh, this is a great foundation for a I guess your hairstyle whatever you want to do so it can be it can be flat like this you can put a few bumps in it to where you know you can just you know just throw a few curls in it and you can rake it and just do something easy um, or you can do my go-to style is where I do some bumps and I will throw some hair wax in it and make it messy and keep it moving um, this is, like I said, your basic mold. Um, you can do whatever you want to it. It is your foundation for a great hairstyle. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out more videos on the Cut Lives channel, as well as my channel, The Hair Razor TV. Thank you guys so much. Love you.